Unthinkable Thoughts Radio. Unthinkable Thoughts Radio, man. Do me the biggest favor. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. I appreciate the support. Let's get into the discussion. Now, R&B group Division just put out their newest record, If I Get Caught Cheating. And man, let me tell you, it has the internet buzzing. But not necessarily buzzing for the right reason. Usually whenever a song comes out and it's trending, people are usually filling the record. This is one of the very first times I've seen a song getting trashed online. But I guess my question is, why is it getting trashed online? Does it really sound that bad? Or because of what it's actually about? We'll get to that later. Quick background on this song. Jermaine Dupri, which is the producer of the record, a couple days ago posted a recent text exchange between him and Jay-Z, basically asking him for clearance of the record because Jay-Z voice is sampled on the record. And the text exchange goes like this. Jay said, I didn't think one could make a song more toxic than Song Cry. I stand corrected. Jermaine responded, ha, is that a yes, lol? Jay said, I just want a disclaimer that says that I said the song is wrong and you're good. And we all know Jay-Z's past with Sheena and Beyonce. So if he's saying this, you already know what time it is as far as what this record is about. Now reading from the lyrics of this song, the intro starts saying, it's them girls, I was going, I was going to get right back. It's them girls, I was going, I was going to get right back. Right then and there, you already know what time it is and you already know what type of vibe and what type of lane they're getting in on this particular record off the intro alone. Let's see what else he's talking about in the song. Don't forget I was a flight when you got here. Charismatic when you got here. You knew about me when you got here. Now you tripping girl, it's not fair. And you got my phone in your hands. Questions, not again. Why do we do this, this, when really the truth is? Then it goes into the chorus. Now, I got some opinions on this record, but let's see what social media is talking about. Because you know they had a field deal with this. Somebody put up, this is what that Division song sounds like. Another person says, imagine dating a man and he puts up that Division song. I would have to go into hiding. <laughs> Another user said, the Kevin Samuels tribe got a hold of Division. Oh man got somebody else saying outside of this division song being corny is also awful a waste of a sample someone else says if it tells me this i'm going to jail crying emoji someone else says the division song is a no for me why is everyone obsessed with being toxic and try hard you got somebody else saying division was right about one thing why would i want a man that has no hoes interesting take here we'll get to that later you got somebody else saying just listen to the if i got caught by division my thoughts don't say you want to be in a monogamous relationship if you want to be in polyamorous relationships if you don't want to be in polyamorous relationships don't be mad when women cheat back and better and that's just the gist of what we got on social media and clearly you can see that not only people ain't filling the record but they ain't feeling what's being said in the record and i think that's the important thing here to discuss. The fact of the matter is this. It always amazed me that women are so amazed by male nature. And it's obviously we're very different men and women, but still to this point, it still amazes me how much men understand women and women don't understand men. Now, I'm not saying that all men cheat. What I'm saying is if you find somebody who, especially somebody who's an artist, clearly making money, and you think that man is going to be monogamous to you, you're living in a fairy tale. And the whole idea of, oh, if you cheat, I'm going to cheat too. It's not going to happen. I'm being honest. Like, the fact of the man is this. If you cheat on that man, he's clear he's going to leave you. We live in a cold, cold world. And things are not fair. This is how certain things are. You want to deal with a certain type of man, you, you're going to have to deal with what comes with it. Now, my personal opinion, sonically, the song, the song is okay. I don't think I'm going to be listening to it again. But what he's saying is how a lot of men feel. Regardless if they cheat or not, most men believe that, hey, if I do get caught cheating, it's not the same as if you cheat. Because most women require an emotional attachment to the person that they're having sex with. Or they lost some emotional attachment or respect for the man that they cheated on. So either way, it's, it's bad. 
Whereas most men, they cheat and it's strictly physical. It has no emotional attachment at all. So whether or not women want to accept it is the truth. Regardless, the bigger question is, did you hear the record? What do you think about the record? Do you agree with what's being said in the record? If not, tell me why in the comment section. Hit me up below. Let's start a discussion. Peace.